Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. I have got another junk journal with me episode in this video where I have got my quote journal and a whole bunch of printouts here that I thought I would make use of. I've already filled the quote journal with 31 quotes that was supposed to be for the month of May, but because this is now a life journal, life quote journal, um, I'm just filling it up with more quotes whenever I feel like it and also just decorating the pages however I want to. <laughs> so um, I have pulled out some bits and pieces here in this pile now that I think I might want to include somewhere in this journal. And then this video is just a matter of me pretty much flipping through the pages, picking a page that kind of goes with the theme or um, just a nice place for things to go. So this one, I just wanted to cover up that page on the left because there was a picture there. I had my tile cards with the number three and four at the top because on the first page I had two quotes written down there and not enough room to place those tiles. So I just put them on the next page and I'm just going to cover up that picture or whatever that picture is on the page with another quote. Um, this is called blackout poetry, if you've heard of it, where you get a book page and you black out words so that only a few words show or some words show that make a poem or a quote or just a saying. And so I put that there and it can be its own little quote page. This one, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put that picture there, so I just left it hanging out as a bookmark. And then I look around for other places to stick something in. Most of the pieces that I've pulled out have to do with journals and writing. Um, and there were a lot of quotes that I had about writing, so that's quite fitting. But then this page here, um, I wanted to cover over that left hand side. And I just pulled out a whole bunch of these <laughs> notebook covers. I, I took photos of my notebook covers and they came out really well. I use them as journal cards, um, but for this page I use them just to decorate, make a little collage with the various pieces. And the reason why I chose this page to do that was because that spoon on the right hand side, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but it's gold and glittery. There's a bit of blue leaf and white flowers or something on the design. And I thought, well, how can I decorate the left side of the page and match it to that other side? And I thought this boho blingy um, journal cover kind of had the glitz. There's a bit of gold. There's the those gemstones, which are kind of match up with the white flowers. So I thought, yeah, why not? Let's just put that there. It's a bit of a glitzy spoon and this is a bit of a glitzy journal cover. Let's pair them together and <laughs> make a little collage on the left hand side. And then, yeah, I just had fun going through this journal, um, covering up anything that I wanted to cover up and decorating the pages more. I did end up using some of the pictures that I added to the journal to include more quotes as jumping off points. So later on when I stick in some pictures of other journal covers, I write down some other quotes, which hopefully I'll be able to read when I get to that part of the video. <laughs> um, but how is everyone going with the catch up journaling month? Um, basically for August, there's no journaling challenge. The challenge is <laughs> more just to catch up and finish any unfinished projects, any unfinished journal challenges. So we had the quote journal, the gratitude journal, um, the inspiration journal. Those are three that I still need to finish. Um, this one's now finished, but I'm just going in to decorate and continuing on to fill in this, these blank pages and write in more quotes when I want to. I'm also filling in more of my gratitude journal, so that's been fun. That's just been a bit more slower progress. So here I've just got a printout of a collage I made out of some magazines. I actually did a vision board. Um, so you just cut out words and pictures and letters from magazines and then you make a vision board out of it. And I did one about the theme of dance and ballet. And then I scanned it and printed it out so I could turn it into a journal card. And so that's what I've got here. And because the page before has 
Oh, no, hang on. I was trying to fit it in on a page that had to do with dancing and ballet, but I don't think I could fit it exactly close to it. But this was the next best space um, to cover up this page here <laughs> a little bit. I think I turned it into a pocket with some double-sided tape. I think that's what I did. Who knows if I'll put anything in the pocket, but um, it's there if I want it. And if not, it's still stuck in nice and secure, so that's the main point anyway. So I'm just matching that up, lining it up with the um, middle, the binding. <laughs> And so that sits nicely in there. Yeah, so now on this filler page, I think I... Hang on. Can't quite remember where I place it. Oh, okay, so this page, I used that picture in the left-hand corner um, as inspiration, as my jumping-off point. It looks like a lady sitting at her desk and she's using her hands. And I think she's painting something, but to me it looks could have been a lady writing at her desk or something. Just someone creating at a desk. And so I thought I'd use that picture as a example or symbol of a person living out their calling, their mission, living out their purpose in life. And, you know, their purpose is to create and that's what they're doing in that picture. So I put down another little poem that I wrote on that card on the left hand side and that poem is all about it's called an identity manifesto and it's all about just um, being who you are made to be and doing what you're made to do and not comparing yourself to others or um, all that kind of thing not being too hard on yourself or putting too much pressure on yourself to do this or be that but just to be <laughs> just to be you um, so this page uh, it has some pictures of dogs on it and it's so cute so I didn't want to cover those pictures up and instead what I did was I think I find a photo of my dog and me that I had quite a while ago now I'm just looking through my printouts to find that picture there it is <laughs> um, so that was my dog that I had um, from 1999 or no I think it was from 2000 until 2011 yeah something like that anyway so her name was Diva and this was a day when I took her to the beach and it was one of my favorite photos this photo is in my room as well so I just glue this down in between the two pictures of the dogs and then I write another quote. This is a quote that I came up with. I mean, someone else might have come up with it already, but <laughs> um, my quote was, life is better with dogs. So I just grab a pen and write that in a blank space near the bottom. So very simple page, but I love how you can, yeah, use the pictures and images or words on the pages already and use them as jumping off points to inspire you as to what you stick on the page what you'll journal about and then I'm just flipping through again I love flipping through this journal now that there's you know actual stuff in there this one it has a picture of a cat on it so I wanted to do a page spread on Keanu it's got nothing to do with a quote or anything I couldn't come up with a quote at the time maybe I will later and I just put a bookmark there to come back to that page and um, do a Keanu page there <laughs> since you know there's a picture of a cat so let's dedicate that picture that those pages to my cat so I come back to that and I actually do a process video a junk journal with me episode afterwards I split it up this video was getting a bit long so um, and this one was all kind of writing inspired and notebook and journal inspired and then in the next video coming up you'll see a junk journal with me episode with um, a page spread about my cat. <laughs> so here I'm just gluing down another notebook cover. This is probably probably my all-time favorite journal cover. It was one of the very first journals I ever received and so it's very very special to me and it's just very pretty and I think now I do end up cutting this down 
to stick in this page. And the quote that went with this page was, use what talents you possess. The woods would be very silent if no birds sang there, except those that sang best. And that always reminds me of how I don't have to be the best writer, the best creator, the best artist. I don't have to be the best anything. I just can do whatever gives me joy. So if writing gives me joy, I can put my words down on a page. And yeah, don't let the fear of not being good enough stop you from just doing what you love. <laughs> so now I am <coughs> flipping through again. And that's another writing page. So I was trying to think, can I stick something there to do with writing? Um, so then I just looked for some other places to put this, these two photos of my notebooks. And I absolutely love notebooks or journals. Before I was a junk journaler, I was just a journaler. <laughs> and before I collected junk journals, I collected journals. So this is just a photo of some of them. And, oh, first of all, this page here, the globe inspired me to write another quote. It's a famous one, something like, the world is but a canvas to the imagination. Not sure if I got the wording exactly right there, but um, I quite like that quote and I love to twist it a bit and apply it to the journal. And so later on, when I stick down the photos of my journals, I write, the journal is but a canvas to the imagination. And I also love applying it to the blank page. So I will say something like, the blank page is but a canvas to your imagination. Um, but yeah, first I'm looking for a place where I can stick in those pictures of my journals. So I thought about covering this picture here, this ugly picture at the back, <laughs> um, but didn't quite work for me. So I'm just still flipping through. And in the end, I did go back to the page with the lady at the desk and the quote or the poem about the identity manifesto and I, I did play around with covering the picture but in the end I was like no let's keep that there and I placed the two photos one at the top one at the bottom and wrote in the middle the journal is but a canvas to the imagination or something like that but I have to cut them down first to make them fit and you can definitely see I'm a blue girl and all my favorite things are represented there. The blue bird, the blue butterfly, blue flowers. <laughs> so um, that has stuck with me through my junk journaling. Um, I love just taking photos of journals and, and taking photos of me journaling in them. So I have a folder on my laptop with just a ton of photos of all my journal covers <laughs> and me journaling at different places or what I'll do is I'll take a photo of my journal um, sitting wherever I am often it's at the beach so I'll just place my journal on the rock where I will sit and stand back a little bit take a photo of my journal on the rock <laughs> so there's quite a few journals um, photos of journals on rocks <laughs> um, it's kind of my way of saying I was here I, I existed I went to this place and it, the journal represents me, it's like my symbol or something. <laughs> and then just gluing that down there. I've got so many favourite journals, by the way. <laughs> Let me know if you have any favourite journalers. Were you a journaler before you were, were a junk journaler? Um, let me know anything about your journaling history. Oh, okay, so up the top there, I ended up writing the blank pages of Canvas to the Imagination. Oh no, the blank page is magical, that's what I wrote. <laughs> and then down here, the journal is a canvas to your imagination. And I truly believe that the blank page is just so beautiful, it's magical, the possibilities, that's what I love. <laughs> so I think that's all I do in this page spread, I mean in this session. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!